Welcome to MyPatchLink.com's video series on allergic contact dermatitis. In the short video you are about to watch, you will learn about your allergy and where to go for additional information. Hi, my name is Heather Lample and I am going to teach you about your patch test results. Your results indicate that you have a contact allergy to cinnamic aldehyde. If you haven't already, I suggest that you watch the video, Allergic Contact Dermatitis. Simply put though, having allergic contact dermatitis means that your immune system has started to react to a particular substance or substances, and this may cause your skin to break out when it comes into contact with products that release cinnamic aldehyde. Typical symptoms of the reaction may include severe itching, redness, swelling, flaking, and peeling. Some patients may experience fluid-filled blisters called vesicles. What is this substance? Cinnamic aldehyde is the chemical compound that gives cinnamon its flavor and odor. Cinnamic aldehyde occurs naturally in the bark of cinnamon, camphor, and cassia trees. These trees are the natural source of cinnamon, and the essential oil of cinnamon bark is about 90% cinnamic aldehyde. It is used as a flavoring in foods like chewing gum, ice cream, candy, and beverages, and in some perfumes of natural, sweet, or fruity scents. However, the scent of cinnamic aldehyde is unpleasant to cats and dogs, and it may also be used as an animal repellent. How do you avoid it? At work, you may find cinnamic aldehyde in products such as corrosion inhibitors, fungicides, root treatments, and insecticides. While at home, you may find it in food and beverage flavorings, for example, in colas and vermouth, and in scents such as almond, apricot, butterscotch. In personal care products, cinnamic aldehyde may be found in dental floss, mouthwash, oral anesthetics, and toothpastes and pet care products such as pet shampoos and kitty litter. Although you have been diagnosed with a contact allergy to cinnamic aldehyde, it is important to remember that it is controllable. Thank you, and I wish you success in managing your allergy. As with all medical conditions, if you believe you are suffering from allergic contact dermatitis, please contact your healthcare provider. Additional resources and information are available to you at mypatchlink.com resources.